I've decided to come back to these two fields and I'm just going to spin you around. I'm just going to go over my shoulder there. That's what I call bottom field. That's where I found the two halves of the Silver Lizzie. Hi Steve, Suffolk Sifter. It's a lovely sunny morning, but it's a little bit on the old chilly side. I've decided to come back to these two fields and I'm just going to spin you around. I'm just going to go over my shoulder there. That's what I call bottom field. That's where I found the two halves of the Silver Lizzie. And I'm just going to sort of take a trip really up and down the path line and work my way in where the, the path is, where I found the, the hammered. I'm just going to up and down, up and down, do the short bit of the field and just work across the bit. Only got about an hour or so, so we're going to crack into it. Thanks ever so much for joining me and if I find anything I'm sure you'll be the first to know. Thanks again. And once again I'd like to thank you, yes, you, the other side of this camera, the new subscribers of Suffolk Sifter. I appreciate all your subscriptions and your names will be scrolling from bottom to top at the end of the video so don't you go anywhere. Right here we go again, I'm on bottom field now or what I call bottom field. There's just where the silver hammers and stuff was down now. I'm just going to work up and down the path, but then going increasingly more to my left. So I've only got about an hour or so, and I'm just going to crack into it. I'm using Gary's Ultimate, uh, frequency around about the 11.6 kilohertz, and we'll see what we can find. Thanks for joining me, and if I find anything, you'll be the first to know. My first signal, 63. That's in this bit. It's a big bit. Got a hard bit as well. There you go. Lou's had the patience to dig it, it's uh, I don't know what it is, I think it's a bit of can store because I can see some writing on it. There you go, first signal, and it's rubbish. Okay, I've got 72 in here. Oh, it's not going there, it's in here. Still 72, and it's rubbish. There you go, another day to day find. Just a bit something. Oh! Oh, it's brightened up nicely and it's got a bit warmer. That glowing round orb up there is doing the trick. So we're all happy. I have an 81 here somewhere. Where I know not, so I can see it. Yep. And it's, you know, it's a, a creature's claw. A piece of metal shaped like a creature's claw. What are the chances of that? I've got an 87. I could just see it, I haven't fiddled with it yet. It's a, uh, well, it's a coin. Uh, looks like possibly farthing. Just give it a spritz and I'll be back with you. It's indeed a coin, it's Victoria and it's a uh, 1862 I think it's a half penny it's a little bit toasty on one side but head size is quite nice there we go has anybody lost one of their nuts just asking that's a nice clean it's 82 uh, it's another half penny. Unfortunately, it's been caught by something. Not to me, I hasten to add. Can't see a date in that one because it's been hit exactly where the date is. But yep, another half penny. Okay, this is a 78. For the people amongst you, want to see me digging up rubbish? I think it's here somewhere. Screaming from the woods. And yep, it's a bit of leadage. 
Excuse my nose. Those are lead. Mm. Right, this one's an 85. I'll just flip the top clod out, divot out, and I can just see it there. It's probably going to be a button, but I just thought, well, we can crack it open together. Um, then it's a very, a very a crusted. So let's see the opening. Is it a button or is it a coin? I think it's a coin, but it's going to be really mashed up. It is a coin. And it's possibly a penny. But I've got no idea. I haven't got a Scooby Doo. I'll just put my bins on and see if I can give you any any further ID. No, not even with my eyes. It's really crusted. I can just about see Britannia. You have an email. And I have an email on the back. And the word or the N N Y. So I'm guessing it's one penny but we'll find out later on three coins mm. 71 here shall we see what rubbish we got down here the ground is quite hard right it's in there let's come down to 43 so oh, I don't know what that's uh, meaning see my hand it's probably gonna be rubbish it's round it's a button right size for a coin folks unfortunately just a button there's a 92 93 92 in here Ah, oh, there you go, look. Shrapnel. Literally, literally shrapnel. Eighty. In here, somewhere. Maybe. Yep, it's can slaw. There we go, lovely crest signal, we've got to dig them. Unfortunately, top of a can. 71, 72 in that heap, somewhere. Oh, is it this thing here? Could it be obvious? Oh well, it's a drawer or a all cupboard handle pull there you go well that's the end of a quick one not too bad could be worse we've found three coins loads of buttons and various other things thanks for coming with me much appreciated and if you haven't please subscribe hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications of future videos and the Wednesday live stream. Okay, before we go, I can't let you go without seeing me haul in all its glory. And this is it. All the rubbish on the left. We've got wire, can sloth, tin foil, some weird shaped things, which I'm assuming is a bit of a sprayer or some sort of cedar, see, you know, they drill. Uh, and then here's your nut. So if you lost your nut, just give us a message and I'll send it back to you. Only three coins, I think it's penny and two half pennies. There's the claw, the foot of an animal, a door pull or a draw pull, and then me buttons. So there you go, thanks again, and we'll see you next time.